Hello friends, Samuel L. Jackson is one of the most iconic actors of our time, with a career spanning several decades and over 150 films to his name. Known for his commanding presence, powerful voice, and unforgettable performances, Jackson has become a household name and a fan favorite among moviegoers worldwide. With so many incredible roles to choose from, it's no easy feat to pick just a few of his best movies. But, we've done the hard work for you and compiled a list of the top 10 best movies featuring Samuel L. Jackson that are sure to entertain, inspire, and leave you in awe of his unparalleled talent. But no Marvel movie is included in this list because we all know about the famous Nick Fury character. Well now hit the like and subscribe button and jump into the list. Someone is targeting us with a sap. I'll find you and pick you up, Mr. President! On very first, I would like to talk about number one. Big Game, released in 2014. The IMDb rating of this action-adventure movie is 5.4, and Sam played the character of The President. This movie's got everything, heart-pumping action, a badass hero, and a plot that'll keep you guessing until the very end. So, here's the deal, a young Finnish kid named Oscari is sent into the wilderness to prove his worth as a man. But things take a wild turn when Air Force One is shot down right near him. Yeah, you heard that right, Air Force One, and inside is the President of the United States himself. Now, it's up to Oscari to protect the POTUS from a gang of ruthless terrorists, who are hell-bent on taking him out. Talk about a baptism by fire. But don't worry, Jackson's character isn't some helpless suit. He's a total badass who can hold his own in a fight. And Oscari, he might be young, but he's brave as hell and determined to save the president's life. Together, these two unlikely heroes navigate the treacherous terrain, evade the bad guys, and pull off some seriously epic stunts. And as the tension mounts and the stakes get higher, you'll find yourself totally invested in their mission. Will they make it out alive? You, you gotta cock it, mother. Number 2, Pulp Fiction, released in 1996, and this crime drama movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 8.9, and Sam played the character of Jules Winfield. The story revolves around a bunch of different characters, but the main players are hitmen Jules Winfield and Vincent Vega. These guys are tough as nails and they're not afraid to get their hands dirty, or their suits bloody, for that matter. However, along the way, they cross paths with a bunch of other characters, including a boxer named Butch who's in a bit of a sticky situation, a gangster's wife named Mia, who just wants to dance, and a drug dealer named Lance, who has some serious medical skills. The thing about Pulp Fiction is that it's not told in a linear fashion, the story jumps around in time, so you have to pay attention. So, if you're looking for a movie that's going to keep you on the edge of your seat, make you laugh, and leave you quoting lines for weeks, then Pulp Fiction is the movie for you. Throughout the movie, we see these characters get into all sorts of trouble, from shooting up a drug dealer's apartment to getting into a bloody car crash, and somehow, it all comes together in the end. Trust me, you'll be rooting for these anti-heroes the whole way through. Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? You got a corpse in a car, minus a head in a garage, take me to it. Number 3, Coach Carter, released in 2005. The IMDb rating of this sports drama movie is 7.3, and Sam played the character of Coach Ken Carter. The movie tells the true story of Ken Carter, a no-nonsense basketball coach who takes over a struggling high school team in Richmond. California. The team is full of talented players, but they lack discipline and focus both on and off the court. Coach Carter knows that the only way to turn things around is to demand excellence from his players. He sets strict rules and expectations for them to follow, including attending all their classes, wearing a shirt and tie on game days, and maintaining a high GPA. He even locks the gym and cancels games when his players fall short of their academic goals. The players, of course, are not happy with these new rules, and they push back against Coach Carter's demands. But he stands firm, refusing to let them settle for anything less than their best. However, as the team starts to improve on the court, tensions rise both among the players and with the community at large. The boys face personal struggles and conflicts that test their commitment to the team and to each other. And Coach Carter must fight to keep them on track, even when it seems like everything is falling apart. I came to coach basketball players and you became students. I came to teach boys and you became men. This is our time! Number 4, Django Unchained, released in 2012. And this western drama movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 8.4. And Sam played the character of Steven. Django Unchained takes place in the pre-Civil War era of America and follows a slave named Django, who's been separated from his wife and is on a mission to rescue her from a brutal plantation owner. However, along the way, he meets a German bounty hunter named Dr. King Schultz, 
who's on the hunt for some particularly nasty criminals. Schultz takes a liking to Django and offers to help him find his wife if he'll help him track down these criminals. Together, they embark on a wild adventure that takes them from the deep south to the heart of the criminal underworld. And let me tell you, things get pretty intense along the way. There's action, there's drama, there's even some romance. Overall, this is a movie that's equal parts entertaining and thought-provoking. It's a thrilling ride that also manages to touch on some important issues surrounding race, slavery, and justice. You kill people, and they give you reward? Better they are, bigger the reward. I'm looking for the Brittle Brothers. I know what they look like, all right. Number 5. The Hitman's Bodyguard series, released in 2017. The IMDb rating of this action-adventure movie is 6.9, and Sam played the character of Darius Kincaid. The film follows Michael Bryce, a top-notch bodyguard who's fallen on hard times after a client is assassinated on his watch. But his fortunes change when he's hired to protect Darius Kincaid, a notorious hitman who's set to testify against a brutal Eastern European dictator. These two guys can't stand each other. Bryce and Kincaid have a long history of bad blood, and they spend most of the movie bickering and trading insults. But they soon realize that if they want to stay alive, they'll have to work together to evade the dictator's henchmen and make it to the International Court of Justice in time for Kincaid's testimony. However, along the way, they get into some crazy car chases, epic shootouts, and jaw-dropping stunts. But what really sets this movie apart is the chemistry between Reynolds and Jackson. Their back-and-forth banter is hilarious, and they both bring their game when it comes to delivering one-liners and zingers. What we do and blow some things up. Number 6, The Hateful Eight, released in 2015. And this Western drama movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 7.8. And Sam played the character of Major Marquis. The movie takes place in the late 1,800 seconds in Wyoming, during a brutal winter storm. We follow a group of eight strangers who are forced to take refuge in a remote stagecoach stopover due to the storm. Among them are a bounty hunter named John the Hangman Ruth, his prisoner Daisy Delmerk, and a former Confederate soldier turned bounty hunter, Major Marquis Warren. Now, here's where things get interesting. The eight strangers all have something in common. They're all hiding a dark secret, and tensions start to rise as suspicions and accusations fly. The stagecoach stopover becomes a powder keg, as the strangers start to turn on each other in a battle of wits and survival. The drama and suspense keep building as we discover more about each character's past and their motivations for being there. This is definitely not a movie for the faint of heart. There's violence, gore, and plenty of profanity. But if you're looking for a wild ride, The Hateful Eight is the perfect choice. Move a little strange, you're gonna get a bullet. Not a warning, not a question. A bullet. Number 7, Shaft Series, released in 2002. The IMDb rating of this action crime movie is 6, and Sam played the character of John Shaft 2. This movie is all about John Shaft, a private detective who's as smooth as silk and as tough as nails. He's the kind of guy who doesn't take crap from anyone, and he always gets the job done, no matter what. Shaft is hired by a big-time drug lord to find his kidnapped daughter. The only problem, the girl doesn't want to be found. She's a rebellious little thing who's hooked on drugs and living with a bunch of hippies in the city. Shaft's got his work cut out for him, but he's not one to shy away from a challenge. However, as he dives deeper into the underbelly of the city, Shaft uncovers a seedy world of drugs, corruption, and violence. He's got to navigate the dangerous streets and keep his cool, all while trying to bring the girl home safe. But Shaft's got some personal demons to deal with, too. He's got a complicated relationship with his estranged father, who's also a cop. Plus, there's a hot-headed gangster who's got it out for him. It's a high-stakes game of cat and mouse, and Shaft's in the middle of it all. You ain't even a pig no more. You think that makes me less dangerous or more dangerous? <laughs> Number 8, A Time to Kill, released in 1996. And this thriller drama movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 7.5 and Sam played the character of Carl Lee Haley. The movie follows the story of a young, black girl in the Deep South who is brutally raped by two white supremacists. When her father, a local African-American businessman, learns of what happened to his daughter, he takes the law into his own hands and kills the attackers in cold blood. He's quickly arrested and put on trial for murder, and it's up to his lawyer, played by Matthew McConaughey, to defend him. But here's the kicker, the lawyer is white and the town is racially divided. As you can imagine, tensions are high and the courtroom drama is off the charts. The lawyer has to navigate through a sea of biases and prejudices to prove his client's innocence, all while trying to keep his own head above water. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you watch this intense legal battle unfold, and you won't be able to look away until the very end.
Number 9. Glass, released in 2019. The IMDb rating of this thriller drama movie is 6.6, .6, and Sam played the character of Elijah Price. This is the final chapter in the epic superhero trilogy that started with Unbreakable released in 2000 and continued with Split in 2016. So, here's the deal. David Dunn is a regular guy with extraordinary abilities. He's basically a superhero. He's got super strength, super senses, and an unbreakable body. But he keeps a low profile and uses his powers to help people without seeking recognition. On the other hand, we have Kevin Wendell Crumb, a man with dissociative identity disorder who has 24 different personalities living inside him. One of these personalities is a monstrous creature known as the Beast, who has superhuman strength, agility, and healing abilities. These two characters cross paths when David decides to track down Kevin, who has kidnapped some teenage girls. But before they can have their epic showdown, they both get captured by a shady organization led by Dr. Ellie Staple, a psychiatrist who specializes in people who believe they have superpowers. She puts them in a mental institution alongside Mr. Glass, the mastermind behind all the chaos from the previous movies. Some of us can still be. <laughs> And on very last, number 10, The Banker, released in 2020. Then this drama movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 7.3, and Sam played the character of Joe Morris. The Banker is a powerful and inspiring story about two African-American entrepreneurs who team up to overcome racial and economic barriers in order to achieve success in the real estate industry. The two men, Bernard Garrett and Joe Morris, respectively, bring their game to the big screen. But that's not all. The movie also stars Nicholas Holt and Neil Long who bring their own incredible performances to the mix. The chemistry between the actors is palpable, and you can't help but get caught up in the energy and passion of their characters. The movie is based on a true story, which makes it all the more compelling. You'll be rooting for these characters every step of the way as they face down discrimination and adversity to achieve their dreams. And of course, it wouldn't be a great movie without some twists and turns, I won't spoil anything. But let's just say there are a few surprises along the way. The country's talking about how two Negroes managed to buy two banks full of white folks' money and loan it to other Negroes. <laughs> well, now here are a few bonus movies featuring Sam L. Jackson. Changing Lands, released in 2002. You have the power to turn this on, you have the power to turn it off. It'll take me half an hour to get to my bank. Now, if my credit's not on by the time I get there, I destroy the fire. Jackie Brown, released in 1997. When you absolutely, positively got to kill every mother in the room, is that no substitute? Is she dead? I, I, I... Yes or no, is she dead? Pretty much. Lakeview Terrace, released in 2008. Give up the wallet, man. Give it up! Welcome to the neighborhood. What? Never roll your window down when somebody does that. <sighs> Scared the hell out of me. Imagine that. Well friends, this was the whole video and if you enjoyed it and want to support us, the easiest way is to like the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more top 10 lists, and more entertaining content. See you in the next video.